my brother Bubba. He was handicapped by his father. That's why it hurts so much that it's his own family participating in the desecration of his final resting place because it was his own family that crippled him. Her father was abusive and he beat her mother badly the day that she gave birth to him. And he came out the way he was and he was never able to do anything. He couldn't walk or talk or feed himself. He could never do anything. And my family profited off of that. My parents got checks every month for his disability that they didn't use on him. They got checks to buy him new clothes and he laid around naked all the time. This family only knows how to use and abuse and hurt. Even after death, they will continue profiting off of the abuse, off of the hatred, off of the coldness. My own family. You don't want to understand why it hurts so bad because they're using my own abusive family to do it. They say, well, it was just a title. My aunt visited the grave, made multiple videos about how excited she was to stand in for her new friend, Adonis Paul, to do something hateful and cruel and mean to her old nephew, for her good friend, Adonis Paul, who deserved for her to respect him by disrespecting her own family, her own nephew, who never did anything to her. Oh, but he's dead, so it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter what you do to him because he can't feel it, because he's not real. Because he's never been real like you and your perfect family and your perfect children and your perfect life. He was just too imperfect. So it's okay to abuse and it's okay to neglect and it's okay to laugh and pretend that he wasn't a real person. He's my brother. Always. He will always be a real person to me. There will always be a real human being in that grave that my family is going after to defile. And it will always hurt because he was a real person to me. The fact that the rest of the family doesn't care only proves that he was nothing to them. Nothing but a paycheck. I loved him. I still love him. He doesn't deserve this family to be treating him the way he, they do. He doesn't deserve for strangers to talk about him the way they do. But he definitely doesn't deserve for his own shitty family to disgrace him so far. So long after he's died. <laughs> they fucking wouldn't even give him a headstone for a decade, but then they're going to visit him with apple juice for urine, for Adonis Paul, for her friend, for her fucking friend. What about your family, Kathy? What about your nephew? You were there for Adonis Paul, but what do you think at your nephew, what did you think about your own family member who you were actually there to visit and desecrate? <laughs> do you ever think about your actual family or do you just think about the clout you're going to get from internet people? <laughs> 
for doing this hateful, cruel thing because you're so cool to be 80 years old and still abusive. You're so cool, Kathy. You're so cool. Can you stay abusive all the way up until your death? Can you go to your deathbed abusing people? Because that would be just so cool.